Senator Bob Menendez is blaming unnamed forces for trying to repeatedly dig his political grave as he faces sweeping bribery scheme allegations. The embattled senator temporarily stepped down as chair of the chamber's Foreign Relations Committee, but he's rejecting calls from fellow Democrats to resign. Prosecutors allege Menendez and his wife accepted multiple bribes, including nearly half a million dollars in cash, $100,000 in gold bars, and a luxury car. Scott McFarland has the latest from Washington. The indictment against New Jersey Democrat Robert Menendez and his wife alleges vast corruption, trading political favors with three New Jersey businessmen in exchange for riches. Federal agents say when they raided the family home last summer, they found $100,000 worth of gold bars, $480,000 in cash, some stuffed in envelopes found in a jacket bearing Menendez's name. And outside in the driveway, a $60,000 Mercedes-Benz convertible, allegedly given to them by one of the businessmen he helped. The indictment says agents discovered a Google search by Menendez asking, how much is one kilo of gold worth? The senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence to protect and to enrich those businessmen. Welcome. Prosecutors allege Menendez wielded his Senate Foreign Relations Committee chairmanship to help one of the businessmen, American Egyptian Will Hanna, secure a lucrative contract in Egypt and helped Hanna get sensitive information about the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, which was ultimately shared with the Egyptian government. They say the scheme started in 2018, just months after a mistrial was declared in a prior corruption case Menendez was involved in. I've made my share of mistakes. But my mistakes were never a crime. The new indictment details the involvement of Menendez's wife, Lebanese-born Nadine Arslanian, whom he married in 2020 after 10 months of dating. The senator is seen here serenading her at India's Taj Mahal These hands could hold before proposing. Arslanian is accused of taking a no-show job with Hana, who allegedly had close ties to Egyptian intelligence. And according to the indictment, Hana, in a text message to an Egyptian general, referred to Menendez as our man. The 69-year-old senator, who will temporarily step aside from his role as committee chairman, blasted the charges, saying the excesses of these prosecutors is apparent. They have misrepresented the normal work of a congressional office. And on top of that, they have attacked my wife. Congressional ethics watchdog Noah Bookbinder. No matter the outcome of this case, no matter the party, you think this damages public trust? Corruption in any party, any part of the ideological spectrum is damaging to the American people's faith in government. Menendez's troubles could complicate Democrats' attempt to hold on to a slim Senate majority next year. He's up for re-election and he's not announced any plans to resign. If he did, it would be New Jersey's Democratic governor who'd appoint his replacement. For CBS Saturday Morning, Scott McFarland at the Capitol.